Um, the committee has now considered the responses that we have received from James Murdoch, Tom Crone and Colin Myler, from Rebecca Brooks, John Chapman and from Harbottle and Lewis. Um, these do raise a number of additional questions. Uh, in the first instance, we will want to pursue some of these questions specifically with Colin Myler and Tom Crone and probably John Chapman and uh, Daniel Cloak, and they are likely therefore to be asked to come and give evidence to the committee uh, in September. Um, we will also be seeking further information from a number of other individuals, uh, both of the legal firms employed by News International and former and current employees of News International. Uh, and in due course, when we have all of the information that we've requested, may, we may well wish to put further questions to James Murdoch. So at this stage, you're not able to say whether or not you need to recall James Murdoch. Has he answered some of your questions in, in written form in a letter? Yes, we've had a, re a response from James Murdoch in which he has he supplied uh, a number of pieces of information which are new to the committee, in particular details about some of the payments that were made um, to uh, Clive Goodman and Glenn Mulcair. Um, there are three areas where I think the committee has further questions which we're, well, going, we're going to want to explore. There is the continuing difference in the accounts of James Murdoch and Tom Crone and Colin Myler about whether or not James Murdoch was aware of the so-called Fenevel email. Uh, there is the question about the size of the settlement uh, paid to Gordon Taylor uh, and what influenced that. And then there are the question of the continuing uh, payment of Glenn Mulcair's legal fees and the size of the payoff for Clive Goodman. Those are all areas where I think the committee is going to want to explore further. That so-called Four Neville email is, is pivotal in this, isn't it? Because the News International defence was this was a rogue reporter, Clive Goodman. He was jailed in 2007. Uh, if James Murdoch knew about that uh, email, it would suggest that he knew that phone hacking was more widespread. Has he said anything in his reply to you that reassures you that he didn't know well, he very specifically says that he was not aware of the Fenevel email, it was not shown to him, and he wasn't told about it. Uh, but that is not uh, what Tom Crone and Colin Myler have said. So there remains this uh, difference in accounts. There, so is, there is contradictory evidence that the committee is determined to get to the facts on, which is why we're inviting them back and why it will be likely that I think James Murdoch will come back after Crone and Myler.